I'm here today in Irvine, North Ayrshire, to document a tragedy that is currently ongoing. It involves our seabirds. The seabirds are in various states of decay. This one here is particularly pungent. Mass seabird strandings occur for a whole host of reasons. Stormy weather, oil spills, rising sea temperatures and overfishing. As usual, humans are the culprit, as is probably the case here. Climate change is resulting in more frequent storms which make the birds unable to catch food. Hundreds if not thousands of guillemots and razorbills are washing up on our beaches. Other seabird species such as the Manx shearwater have been seen as well. Many of the birds being washed up are found weighing less than half of the normal adult body weight for the species. Most of them are found dead, but very few are clinging onto life when they wash up on these beaches. Despite the best efforts of wildlife rescue centres, most die even after being taken into captivity. The temperature of the North Sea has risen by one degree Celsius in 25 years, and the ocean is becoming more acidic. This means that the diet of sand eels, a predominant food source for these birds, is being affected, and hundreds of thousands of tons of sand eels are caught in the North Sea every single year. Further to the diet of this prey species, the sand eel, the temperature itself is causing it to move to cooler water. This makes the eels harder to find for the seabirds. Juveniles are the most likely to be affected, and juveniles are what we are finding here. Today I've only seen razorbills, but I've seen just as many guillemots having come in from other locations and have heard of Manx shearwaters and gannets washing up as well. It's normal for there to be a certain number throughout the year, but at the moment we're getting unprecedented amounts coming into rescue centres and being seen by members of the public already dead. The strandings are happening in many places, not just on this beach. Some people have reported seeing hundreds of dead or dying birds. So whatever the causes of this particular seabird stranding, it certainly is the case that in the past and in the future, we play a part.